Hey, it's Mike here from CellPig.com with a short little review on the Haytel app. You can see it right there. Uh, this is your answer to texting while driving. This app isn't really the easiest to use if you're a pig. Then again, cell phones really aren't the easiest to use when you're a pig. Haytel is basically a cross-platform voice messenger, but what the heck does that mean? Well, basically, it turns your phone into a walkie-talkie, which is pretty sweet. So basically, to send a message, all you're going to do is just hold... You're going to click the person you want to talk to. So right there, I'm going to talk to Donald Metany. And he's saying something to me already. This is how you get your message. Well, my absolute favorite is Chip Ham. Oh, it's a chip ham sandwich with mustard and lettuce? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but, Donald, we're supposed to ask you first what kind of pork you like. I take that, I take that back, dude. I like uh, fried bologna. Oh, my God, fried bologna is so good. I think that's pork, maybe. <laughs> All right, good. Thanks, Donald. Um... But I'll show you a little bit about the navigation on the app. Uh, there's very few buttons, which makes it great. Um, you have your geo button right there, where if the person you're speaking to has their location turned on, you can see where they're at in the world, which is pretty awesome and creepy at the same time. Then you have this little check button right here, which that's going to let you friend or block a user. I was just giving you some options. Let me know. And there's Donald giving us some more options of the kinds of pork that he likes. But then you have your play button, which when you go back to your conversations, you can play. I was just giving you some options. Let me know. There you go. Um, you can turn your speaker on and off. And you can look through your list of your friends on Haytel, which I don't have many, but it's growing. Or you can look through your contact list and send anybody an invite saying, Hey, I want to talk to you through Haytel. Like I stated before though, doesn't work too well if you're a pig. You got a few buttons on the bottom here. You got your conversation button, which uh, shows you all your conversations as you can see. You have your profile button, which you can change your own information. You can link to your Facebook, which I haven't played with too much. Or you can change a privacy level. Uh, and then you also have the extras button down here, which is basically Haytel's way of saying, Hey, pay us some money. So your inbox in Haytel can fill up pretty quickly, but the cool thing about it is it's really easy to delete messages. Um, on Apple in particular, it's just like deleting text messages. If you want to delete Aaron Love's conversation, swipe, delete. Now if you want to look at an entire conversation and see what you had said back and forth, you can click on this little arrow right over here. And here are all the messages that we've sent in this conversation. Now, if I want to delete one particular message, swipe, delete. If I want to star a message, that's pretty easy to do too. Star it, up. and then I can save it. So what happens if you get a Haytel message when you don't have Haytel open? That's a good question. Hey, Donald, show us what happens when you get a Haytel message and you don't have Haytel open. So now we'll close Haytel. And we're just going to sit here, and we're going to wait to see what happens when Donald sends us a message back. So you get your message, kind of comes through like a text. And all you do is hit view, and it's going to pop up. Haytel notifies you, and then that is the icon. And then Big Donnie talks for you. Awesome. Haytel is also pretty awesome to talk to your friends when you're on the toilet. But like I said, it's not good for pigs.